Thank you so much for choosing the JIRA Integrated Scrum Project Dashboard. You've made a smart decision, and I'm excited to walk you through how to set it up for maximum value. Stick around, it's super easy. Let's start with configuring the sheet. Don't worry, it's just two simple steps. Install the plugin and do the basic setup. Step one, install JIRA Cloud for Sheets. Go to Extensions, search for JIRA Cloud for Sheets, and click the first result. Install it, and it'll show up in the Extensions menu. Easy, right? Now, let's configure JIRA Access. Click on Extensions. Open JIRA Cloud for Sheets, and grant access to your JIRA account. Select your JIRA workspace, and hit Allow. Follow the steps, and once it's done, you'll see your JIRA instance appear here. Let's go to settings and turn on the JIRA function. If you hit any bumps, no worries. Pause the video or ask questions in the comments. Awesome, now let's move to the basic setup. First, enter your JIRA project code. If it's correct, you'll see a success message. If not, fix it before moving forward. Next up, configure your JIRA statuses. Your statuses will automatically appear and you just need to arrange them to do, in progress, done, and so on. This ensures the dashboard works according to your workflow. Every team's workflow is unique, so help the sheet understand your process. Select the status for when a ticket gets rejected or reopened, and define what code complete and ready for developers means. Now, let's configure your sprint details. Choose your sprint duration and enter the start date. The sheet will automatically calculate future sprint dates for you. Next, add your team's JIRA IDs. Go to JIRA, find the ID in the URL, copy it and paste it into the sheet. Do this for all your QAs and developers. And add your sprint names. This will help map the sprints accurately to your project timeline. Now, select your priority levels, high, medium, low. Once all that's set, head over to the project dashboard sheet. You'll instantly see key metrics like the amount of work done, backlog health, individual performance, and ticket breakdowns by size and priority. This dashboard gives you the complete picture of your team's performance. Throughout the sheet, you'll find best practice tips. Make sure to check them out. They'll help you deliver more value to your team and customers. Don't forget to check out the risk register. It categorizes risks and provides an easy way to track potential issues in the project. Struggling with setup? Reach out to us on LinkedIn or drop a comment below. We're happy to help. Also, I highly recommend checking out my website for more templates and tools built specifically for Scrum Masters and project managers. And join my Telegram channel for the latest updates. If this video helped, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more useful content. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see how this dashboard boosts your projects.